you are looking at Comcast's response to the rise of cord cutting. It's called Now TV. This is a streaming service available to Xfinity internet customers, and it offers more than 40 live cable TV channels, as well as Peacock Premium. So is it worth it? I put it to the test and I've got what you need to know. Number one, how much does Now TV cost? This monthly subscription is a lot cheaper than cable. Only $20 plus taxes in some areas, my total came to $22.64. And unlike cable, you don't have to pay for cable boxes, no equipment fees. You can sign up for the service through your Xfinity.com account, no contracts or long-term commitments, Cancel whenever you want. Number two today, what content do you get with Now TV? And there are three main components I want to tell you about. 40 plus live cable TV channels, Peacock Premium, and 20 plus free streaming channels. Here's a look at the live guide. Now TV offers more than 40 cable TV channels, and those are primarily lifestyle and entertainment networks. A&E, AMC, Food Network, Hallmark, HGTV, History, and TLC, just to name a few. I'll link to the full channel lineup below. So why so cheap? Well, this service is able to offer a $20 monthly bundle because of what it does not carry. Major sports networks like ESPN, cable news, Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, and local broadcast TV stations like ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC, and PBS. What I found interesting is that NBC Universal's networks, ones that Comcast actually owns, they're not included with Now TV but it does include Peacock Premium at no additional charge a $5 monthly value, and that gives you access to Peacock's live sports, news, original series, and a library of hit movies and TV shows. And that third component, Now TV also makes more than 20 free streaming channels available. Those are right alongside the live TV lineup. Here you'll find NBC News Now, Sky News, and various Zumo entertainment channels. Number three, does Now TV include DVR storage? Let's talk about it. Now TV lets you record programs to watch on your schedule, but there's no physical DVR required. Instead, you get 20 hours of cloud DVR storage. The main benefit is that setting recordings gives you the flexibility to fast forward through the commercial breaks. And there are a lot of commercial breaks with cable TV channels. Now I tested this, I found the playback controls were a little clunky compared to other streaming services. With the DVR, you can record either a single episode or an entire series, but that 20 hour storage limit is really gonna prevent you from recording a lot of content. Number four, what devices are compatible with Now TV? To watch the Now TV content, you're gonna need to access the Xfinity Stream app. There's no separate Now TV app for you to download. Now the Xfinity Stream app is only compatible with a limited number of devices. Most notably Roku devices, they're not supported when Now TV launched. Although it's not a requirement, the Xfinity Flex device may be your best option. The normal $15 activation fee is waived if you have a Now TV subscription, and there's no monthly fee for your first Xfinity Flex streaming box. And another thing, no matter what devices you use, you can watch on up to three devices at once. Number five, how do you use Now TV? I downloaded the Xfinity Stream app using an Amazon Fire TV device, so that's what I'm gonna show you. But depending on the device that you use, the Xfinity Stream app may have a slightly different look and feel. For example, here's what the home screen looks like on an Xfinity Flex device. But using my Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max, I was taken to the For You section when I first opened up the app. Either way, at launch, you're gonna find some recommendations for the Now TV service. And on top of that, you'll find a list of recordings and recent channels that you've watched. Plus further down this screen, just keep scrolling and you'll find a collection of on-demand shows and movies. I use this navigation panel on the left side of the screen to move to the live guide. And there's a lot to show you here. To start, I've got all channels selected. And this displays the Now TV channel lineup alongside those free ad supported channels that I mentioned earlier. When you click on any program, three options will show up watch, record, and info. Select watch and you'll be taken to the channel. My testing found that it takes between about three to five seconds for a channel to load. Choose record to set a recording, either for a single episode or an entire series. And select info for a program description. Also here you can add content to your list. On demand and upcoming episodes are also featured in this area. I'm back on the live guide now and you can scroll to the right to preview any upcoming content or you can jump to a different day and time 
That is from the drop down menu right near the top of the screen. You can also sort the guide by favorite channels instead of all channels. Favorite a channel by selecting the star right next to the channel logo. Now I didn't see this option using my Fire TV device, but I was able to add favorite channels from a web browser and the Xfinity Stream mobile app, and those changes did reflect on my TV set using the Amazon device. Now TV also includes a mini guide. So when you're watching live TV, you can arrow to the right and the mini guide is gonna let you channel surf while you can continue watching the current program. So let me know what you think. Do you like this mini guide? I think this is my favorite feature of the Now TV service. I wanna take you to the DVR now. This is labeled either saved or recordings. And this area features, well, a list of your recordings as well as how much storage space you've got left. Just select any recording to watch that program or change options, including deleting the recording. And there's also a separate area to view any scheduled recordings. I've moved to Now TV's browse section. And this area highlights TV shows and movies by various genres, including many on-demand programs that have unskippable ads. Remember, if you wanna skip ads, set a recording instead. From what I can tell, this browse area duplicates a lot of what's already available on the home screen, including thumbnails of programs that are airing right now. Another tip, looking for something very specific and you can't find it, there's also a search function. I think this worked pretty well and I was able to search by voice using my Amazon Fire TV stick 4K max. Let's talk about the pros and cons. And there are some things that I do like about Now TV. It's affordable, only $20 a month. The lineup of more than 40 entertainment and lifestyle networks, it's not bad. And you also get Peacock Premium included. No equipment fees like traditional cable, and also no contracts or long term commitments. As for the cons, there's really a limited amount of live sports and news content. For sports, it's really what's on Peacock Premium. Cloud DVR storage could be better, only 20 hours included, a limited number of supported devices at launch. Let's hope that changes over time. And finally, this is for Xfinity internet customers only. Xfinity customers have been begging for an alternative to the expensive pay TV bundle. So I do give Comcast some credit for offering this cheaper plan. But those who really want an entertainment focused bundle, you may prefer Philo or Friendly TV. For 25 bucks a month, Philo has more channels, unlimited cloud DVR storage, and a better overall user experience. Comcast Now TV is a basic service, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But my question is, is it too little, too late? I don't have to tell you about how many streaming apps there are out there right now. I'm hearing a lot more from former Xfinity Cable TV customers who dropped the live TV bundle altogether to save money. And instead they're streaming with more affordable on-demand services like Netflix and also free options like Pluto TV, Tubi, and the Roku channel. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about Now TV. Would you sign up? My name is Michael and I thank you for watching.